Okay, great. Well, welcome everyone. And once again, I, the stories do make it. And uh, just love hearing this every week because it's the foundation of who and what we are. And if you happen to be joining us for the very first time, my name is Cheryl Cortese. I'm a national marketing director uh, with the Juice Plus Company and I've been here for 33 years. And so uh, I'm kind of the proud mom of everybody on this line and uh, happy to be so. Um, we're really tonight, we're still in the process, I guess you would say, of kicking off the new year as the new year came around very quickly. And many of you um, may have been, and hopefully many of you were, on the Winter Summit that we had just this past uh, weekend on Saturday. And if not, I think it may still be online. But there were a few things, uh, a few little uh, tweaks, I guess you would say, as uh, we have rolled out the new compensation plan over this past year. And it's something that from the very beginning, we said, as we go, we'll refine and tweak it and you know, make it better and easier and simpler. So as we get started tonight, just let me, you know, touch on a few of those highlights, because what I would really like to talk about tonight is, you know, where do we really go from here? Are you going to make that decision to really, you know, capture this year and you design your year? I certainly have to say that we were all probably in a state of, um, I guess you would say shock over last year. We did experience one of the most unusual years, I can certainly say, uh, for any of us in any of our lives. So, you know, things came at us very quickly, changes very quickly, uncertainty was there. And yet I'm so proud of this organization, my whole organization, the company as a whole, because everybody just stepped up and they, you know, we didn't miss a beat. I mean, customers were taken care of, business continued as normal. It remained a very stable and basic thing in our lives, which has served us very well in a time that was very challenging and especially for businesses all across the country and the world. So really not only congratulate yourself for that, for your participation in being part of really taking over and taking control, uh, but also the great gratitude that we have because we are part of something that's very stable, very needed. We're more relevant than we've ever been before. Uh, even though we were always relevant, people are not going to start, uh, you know, they're not going to stop, I should say, uh, wanting good health or needing to eat good food or have what Juice Plus has to offer. I mean, they're not going to stop looking for that. So, uh, we're definitely in a place where we're extremely relevant, but also more than ever, uh, just that need for the additional or supplemental income that this provides. So when you have a market that is extremely receptive, you always have a business uh, that is going to flourish. So it's really going to be your choice, you know, this year as to how do you design your life, because we know a little bit more now about where we are. Uh, we know what it feels like to work virtually, and everyone's gotten very good at that. And fortunately, we do have this. But how are we going to design it this year so that you really capture the best of what there is to offer for your own business, but you also become a great blessing and service to others who need our product or our business? So, you know, not only what can we do for our own growth, but how can we be the people who step out to help others to do for themselves as well. So I wanna talk about really the foundation of business. I want this to be a working meeting. If you have a clean sheet of paper and, and a pen, I'd like for you to get them out because we're gonna do some drawing here, okay? And so that I think that might help give some clarity on what I wanna share. And right before I do, let's just uh, go over a couple of things. There were new tweaks in the marketing plan, you might say, or. A, uh, things that they more or less adjusted. Some of it was going back to things that worked better for us in the past. Some of it was, you know, just adjustments. First of all, if we look at restarts, a person restarting, say they have worked toward a position, but maybe they missed it by a few days. We're going to take QSC or qualifying sales coordinator as an example. Let's say that you or someone on your team was working to go to QSC and they were just a little bit past their 60 days, okay? What they were saying in the new plan is that they would have to wait till the beginning of the next month to restart, that you started at the first of the month. We're going back to what's called the rolling calendar. And I love this, okay? Because it means that there's never a wait time. 
let's say that you, you or someone on your team, and again, using QSC as the example, but it, it goes for any position or anything you're working toward. Uh, let's say that you are, you know, a few days off as far as your uh, 4,000 uh, purchase volume that you need to have to go to QSC. Well, then it would just continue on. In other words, the two or three days would fall off the beginning of the month and whatever you have in that time frame needed is what would be counted. So it could be any 30 days. It could be, you could be halfway through a month and, you know, or a month and a half, whatever. You could land in the half of the month, but you would still, it would just continue on. So any 30 days, any 60 days to become a QSC. So, or again, it's any of the uh, positions, depending on the length of time you're given for, uh, you know, to qualify or to promote to that position, it's a rolling calendar. So when I finish here in just a little while, we'll see if there are any questions about that. Will we go back to the rolling calendar? And it's in any 30 days, any 60 days, or any six months for a sales coordinator, as long as it's, it's in that time frame. So there's no gap or wait time to restart is what I'm trying to say. The other thing is that to qualify for uh, commissions, that means the monies that are paid, you know, in between your position and that person that you're helping to grow up. If you're a sales coordinator and you sponsor a new team member, they sell a box of product, you know, they make a certain amount, but the company always pays out the full amount of the box and it goes to the person who's, you know, their position working above them. So for that, it was $225, $225 was the requirement to uh, be qualified for those commissions. That has dropped to 200. And that 200 would really equal two quads or four pack orders. So if you have your own four pack and one other customer for the quad, you're qualified for your commissions. So that gives it a, maybe a little easier way to think about it. And so those two things are, again, to help things move easier, faster, simpler. And as time goes on, you'll probably see other little tweaks as we find things that are gonna help people move faster, easier, simpler, and without uh, complication. So I find that very exciting. And I like being part of, uh, you know, being able to, um, report back to the company the things that we're seeing that could help us a little more because they're very, very receptive to that. And so tonight, if we look at you being the president of your company, and you can design it any way you choose. Um, and I think we talked last time about momentum, that once you realize that if you have consistent paying activity, then you're going to get the results uh, that are there to be offered. You're going to grow. You're going to grow up through the compensation plan because you'll have momentum. But if you're looking at what are the you know, logistics of how your business grows, what's foundational to a business is to be qualified for all aspects of the pay plan. And so I want to talk a little bit about qualification tonight and how important that is and the fact that you are the model for that qualification for others. Uh, if it's something you're doing, then people are gonna duplicate it. Whatever you do, people are gonna duplicate it. It's just the way our business is. So well, I'm gonna start, and we've, we've already mentioned the $200 for the commission qualified. That's kind of a no brainer in a way, two quad orders, your own and one other, you're done. But let's go on and look about at moving to QSC or being in QSC or any other position above that. You want to be qualified for the 3% monies that come up in your organization. The, the team that you're building, you have that 3% performance bonus. Now, when you first start your, your business, the bulk of your income, maybe in the first year or first year and a half as you're putting your business together, is going to come from your retail profit, uh, your new team members and the difference between their position and yours, which is the commission bonuses, commission uh, profit. So you've got retail and commission profit and the title rewards or the title bonuses. That's where the first monies come from. 
But as your business grows, eventually that 3% in your organization, the 3% performance bonus will be the bulk of your income. So you're laying the foundation with the new team. You're getting the monies from retail, from commission, from title bonuses. But then as that grows bigger and bigger, you move into QSC and then on to sales coordinator. You're going to start receiving that 3% money and eventually that will become 85 to 95% of your income as time goes on. And the bigger that uh, distribution base is, the bigger that team is, the more people for you to have the return of the 3%. So, and the beauty of it is not only happens for you, it happens for everybody else. So uh, we're in a business where we only do well if we all do well together. We only get paid if other people are making money. So you really want to look at that with and that team development. But let's look at the importance of qualification because we talk about having a business mindset. If you're gonna have a true business mindset, you know, you really starts with qualification and qualifying for the 3% means that in your personal business, you have got $1,800 in production. If we were using the tri-pack as an example, that would be 24 tri-packs. So why qualify? It's, it's the name of the game. It means that you're not sitting on the bench. You're actually in business. It's not a hobby. It's a business and that you desire for it to be a very serious business. So if you're really going to take advantage of this plan, you got want to go very wide with your business. You'll hear me say that. I've been saying it for 33 years and I'll say it for the next 33 years. There's as many people sponsored directly to you as possible. The strength will present itself. So you want to go wide, you want to work deep, and you want to stay qualified. Those are the three things that are going to eventually make you a fortune. Go wide, work deep, stay qualified. So <clears throat> talking about qualification as the foundation of your business, because that's really what's going to result over time in a very large return. So how do you qualify? I'm going to give you these four things. If you want to write those down, you certainly can. But then we're going to draw out uh, what I call the pools. <laughs> I look at my business as pools of people and how I'm working to develop those pools. But what are the requirements to qualify? A qualified business is $1,800 in purchase volume. And this is the from your own personal business. That qualification is from any personal consumption. So anything you order for yourself goes into that. Uh, your preferred customers, your <clears throat> team members who are new partners, okay, anything they order, and your team members that are partner plus. So that's the pool that helps to keep you qualified. Now, a person could definitely be qualified on just their customers in their own order. Uh, again, 24 tri-packs would be an example of that. And I haven't figured it out for the quad, but it's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 18 or 19. Say so if they were all quads. But using the tri-pack, that's 24. So you could very uh, realistically have 24 tri-pack customers, uh, you could have a few less if it was quads, probably somewhere, as I said, in the neighborhood of 17, 18, something like that, and stay qualified. But if you want to really grow a business, you want to have customers, you want to have new team members, and you want to have people who are growing up and going into that partner plus position. Because if you have that happening all the time, that's going to all go into helping you stay qualified. Now, if it goes over 1800 let's say that you have a month where you have $2,200 or $2,300 in production. That additional will go into what we call excess. And that excess is like money in the bank. You don't want to look at that as something that you're going to use for qualification. It's there in case you ever need it. So that kind of builds up a little bank account. So in case you have a month where uh, things just, you know, life takes you over. You got something kind of in the bank to, you know, make sure that you're always qualified. So they've, they've really thought of everything over the years, and I've always appreciated them for that. But you don't want to look at that 
as something that you use toward monthly qualification. It's just emergency money in the bank. So once again, your own personal orders, your preferred customers, your new team members, which would be your partners and your partner plus. Those all go together to bring about qualification. In my business, I really worked at um, making sure that I kept that pool full. So now I wanna talk about pools and this is where we're gonna use this paper and, and draw things out. So if you drew you know, three circles across a page, this would be the general, I guess you would say the general pools I think about as far as my overall business. So the first pool would be my customers, okay? So my customers would be one pool. You wanna have customers and you wanna, you wanna have a healthy amount because you're the model for those people that are gonna grow up beneath you. So they're gonna be watching everything that you do. So you wanna have a healthy number of customers. For me, I try to keep somewhere between 15 to 25. That's my number. It's always been my number because I want that customer pool to be as full as possible for me to go fishing for new team members. Now, there'll be other people who will become team members when they become customers, and that's great too. I love that very much. That's been a big thing for me as well in my business. But if I'm constantly keeping anywhere from 15 to 25 customers, then I usually have somebody who's ready to grow up to become a team member. Now, I'll caution you too, there are sometimes when you can get so many customers that you get out of balance and you're trying to service all those customers, you want those customers to grow up into new team members. So the next pool, if we write what's gonna be in that, that is going to be all my new team members. Okay, so these are people that have come into my business. They might be you know, new partners, they might've grown to partner plus, but they're my, my new team. And I'm trying to keep that new team full so that I've always got place to go fishing, okay, to grow people up who are serious and they will present themselves to you. They'll begin to fall in love with the whole idea. They wanna know more. Uh, they wanna put you in front of people so you can tell the business story. And then my third pool is team members, you know, who are, serious about their business. So these become more seasoned team members. And these are the people who, you know, want to grow up to be national marketing director. They're serious about their business. So now this is the pool and I want that pool really full so that I can always go fishing for the people who are going to be my uh, leadership team that will, and this is usually going to be uh, in this team, you'll see some QSCs, you'll see some SCs. Uh, this team is the team that is going to then produce the people who will step up and say, I want to be in leadership. I want you to help me grow as big a team as possible. And so we're going to go back and make sure that they have their three pools full. So hopefully that gives you a good general idea or overview of just, you know, how you're moving through this process, but also the um, model that you're setting for people. Now, that's general, but let's go back and look at what would the more specific pools look like if you're looking to make sure that you're qualified. Okay, so this is gonna, gonna look you know, similar, but it's gonna be different from a uh, standpoint, you'll see. So if we draw the first circle, this is gonna be you and your customers. Okay, so that's similar to the first one we drew over here. So you and your customers. Now, if this customer pool is relatively full, and again, you're gonna to have to decide on the number, as I said, mine's 15 to 25, your customers, you and your customers will always keep that $200 qualification uh, in place without even thinking about it to qualify for your commissions. So as I said, if you look at it in just orders, it's really two quad orders, your own and one customer. But if you have customers with various orders and you're keeping that customer pool full, you never have to worry about that commission qualification. It just becomes an automatic, okay? So now let's draw a circle that's gonna show what you need in it 
to be um, qualified for your 1800 for your 3%. So in this circle would be your own order. So it's you. And then as we said before, it's uh, going to be your customers are in this circle. Your new, your, uh, new team members, which would be partners. And your partner pluses. So partner plus. So this combination, if this adds up to at least $1,800, that is going to keep you qualified together. All this will keep you qualified for your 3% money. Now, when a partner plus moves up to QSC, then they're not in your pool anymore for that 1,800. So you wanna keep this pool full where it's you, your customers, your partners, your partner plus, and yet you're wanting to grow people up. The next circle, and we'll draw another one, will be the circle that will keep you qualified for what we call POB or promote out bonus. When you become a sales coordinator and you grow up sales coordinators, you're entitled to a promote out bonus. And what the company is saying to you is that if you help to grow this person up and you promote them to sales coordinator, we're going to give you a forever bonus. And that means that it's 3% on that person's uh, open business, which is all their, their new business that they're gathering, all of their customers, their uh, partners, their partner pluses, and their BFs. So you want to be qualified always to receive that additional 3%. That's on top of the performance bonus 3%. And it's on your, basically your frontline sales coordinators that you grow up. And it's referred to as POB or, PO, or uh, promote out bonus. So in this circle, you're going to need for promote out bonus, if you have a sales coordinator that is growing to get that additional 3%, you and your entire new team need to produce together $5,400 in uh, production. So now in this circle, to qualify there for POB, it's you, your customers, you can write that in there, your partners, your partner plus, and your QSC. So now your QSCs count for that next promote out bonus um, qualification. So if your pools are full, then you're then even though they overlap to a certain extent, you will always be qualified as you grow up through the process. You also become a great example because you're modeling. So from the very beginning, once you become a QSC, and you help to grow a QSC. Once you become a QSC, immediately, you wanna have enough in your pool to make sure that you're qualified for that performance bonus, that PB 3%. Once you become a sales coordinator, you wanna have enough in that pool to make sure that you're qualified for the POB as you grow sales coordinators. So it's not to wait until you have someone in position, it's for you immediately once you reach QSC to become qualified the next month or teach people to become qualified as you help to grow them up because they become the model, they set the standard. And again, it's really demonstrating that you're in a serious business, you take on a serious business mindset and you make sure that you never leave any money on the table. You know, you want to always capture everything that is available there for you and teach your people to capture everything that's available there for you. So again, it's just, you know, I'm always looking at it. I've got my 200 covered with myself and my customers. It doesn't take much, but the more customers you have, you can then just forget that qualification for commissions. You want to be qualified for your 1800, you, your customers, your partners, and your partner pluses. So again, the balance of it, if you're really bringing people to the table, if you're bringing them in as new team members, it's really going to support you and you won't have to do it all along. It won't be just your customers that you have to worry with. You will have uh, a new team of people who will help carry that 1800. And the same goes for the 5400 in POB. It means keeping that pool full 
of new people, the customers, the partners, the partner plus, and the QSCs. So let's see what time it is here. I'm all ready to 6.30, uh, but <clears throat> I was just wondering if there are any questions. I'm sure this is not the kind of thing that immediately if you're brand new, you say, whoa, that was a lot. <laughs> but uh, are there any questions or does this help give you a vision of how you keep yourself in qualification? Because it's never anyone alone. It's always you and others. We only do well if we all do well together and we really don't make money unless other people make money too. So it's, it's very important to help them do that. Uh, any questions that we can answer maybe one or two here before we close? Anybody or did this at least seem Carol, like it may help you? Sorry, it's Carol. I did have a question on the rolling calendar. Did that start effective immediately? Immediately. immediately. Okay. Awesome, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any questions about the pools? Y'all have, does that, does that feel like it helps you get a good vision of you know, how your business functions as far as qualification? Anybody? Okay. Uh, the other thing I might wanna share with you is that realize this, we're truly all sales coordinators as we grow up through our businesses. We look at our leadership and, you know, when you see QSSC and SSC and qualifying national marketing director, national marketing director, and on, those positions refer to, I, I'm a sales coordinator, but I have an organization that has grown in size. So really, if I look at my position at this point is presidential marketing director plus or whatever they're calling us now but i am that is my title because of the size of the organization but i'm truly a sales coordinator with titles and benefits okay so if you can realize that that sales coordinator position that's that's really the golden spot you're you are in the uh, top commission position at that point uh, your, I'm going to turn this phone off, excuse me, one minute, because it will make the dog bark, <laughs> okay, um, but <clears throat> when um, you get to sales coordinator, it's, it's the golden spot, because at that point, it's just a matter of continuing to duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. When you go to QSSC, what the company's saying is that we're so proud for this growth and that growth in that size of your business that we're going to give you a title reward and the recognition of a leadership position. And then you grow to the next position of senior sales coordinator. Same thing. You're still a sales coordinator with title and benefits, but now this reflects the size. Your business is growing larger. It also reflects that as you grow up larger, of course, your, your income will grow with you. So, but again, the title bonuses go along with the company saying, you know, that we're proud that you have uh, grown to this position because we'll recognize a business that's grown to this magnitude. So if you think about it, once you're a sales coordinator, there's no limit on the income. You were paid the same, except that as a national marketing director, you have benefits. Uh, you have bonuses that go along, title bonuses. You have, um, you know, your expense money, things of their, their rewards for growing a business of that size. But the sales coordinator is the sweet spot, you might say, or the golden spot. So to help people get to sales coordinator and then turn around and encourage that growth as people help grow to sales coordinator is truly what brings you up through the leadership position. So again, anybody, any questions or did I just make you all crazy? <laughs> I, do. I have a question. Uh -huh. Hi. Um, so I, you lost me on the sales coordinator part. So I know in order to get to sales coordinator, um, you said something about you want to have more sales coordinators underneath you under mm -hmm. POB, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, what position is that like in the hierarchy? Sales coordinator, sales isn't it? Coordinator, sales coordinator is what we call the top commission position. So now you're entitled to earn all the, um, the retail profit, 
the commissions which come from help you helping people grow up, the 3% mm -hmm. performance bonus, the 3% um, which is paid for promote out bonus. <clears throat> so when you grow to sales coordinator, you wanna have as many people sponsored directly to you and you teach them to grow to sales coordinator. You just keep duplicating that because that builds your business to the point where you grow up in the leadership and get you know, bigger businesses with title bonus and you know, rewards that go along with it. Does that help? Okay. Yes, a little bit. Thank you. Okay, because right now, Karina, I think you're just you're going into QSC. Am I right about that? You're just ready to go into that. I believe so. Yeah, yeah I was just confused. I was asking um, Jocelyn in text messages. I'm like, where am I at? Like, where am I trying to go? You know. So I just want clarification on that because I'm like, okay, so I'm going to QSC. You're on your way. To, you're right there, from what I understand. Is you're right at QSC. So okay. you really want to um, have as many new people as possible to help boost you to sales coordinator. To grow to sales coordinator, you need two QSCs with you and one person to partner plus across. So three people at least, uh, two of them will go to QSC beneath you, one mm -hmm. partner plus, and then your volume will be in place with those people and you'll promote okay. to the sales coordinator position. So right now let's secure your qsc and then it's just turn around and duplicate what you did with those people who you invited to be partners with you our business is one of you know and, and i've heard this over the years you earn it to learn it okay once you've earned qsc you know what to do to get there okay because you For did sure. and then as you bring people onto your team you're just saying i did this you know this is how we go about it and then they'll grow to QSC. And as they do, that'll push you to, Nash, to um, sales coordinator. And then you'll help them teach their people to do, to go to QSC. And that'll push them to sales coordinator and it'll just keep expanding. But what leverages it is going as wide as possible because the more people participating, the greater the volume, the greater the income return, and the greater the chance that those people that you need for qualification will be present to grow up with you. Does that help? Got you. Yes, thank you. Okay, real good. Okay, well, again, if you can just keep the pools full that you drew out, you know, you can, you can grow right up through the compensation plan. And I've always liked looking at it as I'm keeping my pools full, so I always have a place to go fishing, okay? So again, um, you know, this is a time when I think we're, we're certainly more needed than we've ever been before, but we're ready for this. Um, and I think that people are, if you're like me, you're, you're really looking for um, maybe just a little normalcy in life and that'll come. Uh, but let's just really be diligent about paying attention to making that difference for other people uh, to that commitment to yourself to reach out to people because one of the things we do see is people are experiencing a great deal of loneliness. Uh, so many people are isolated. You know, we are the people who can reach out, offer things that help. Uh, the product certainly for health and support in health because there's a great concern there, but also for the additional income, but also for the emotional revenue that goes along with being supportive to people and caring about other people. And uh, that caring right now, I think is just as important as anything else that we could do. So we all have that to offer. And I think that's, you know, not only going to enhance your business, it'll enhance your life. So it's been an honor to be on with you all tonight. I look forward to next um, week, uh, next Thursday, let's work at, you know, bringing new people for, to just them see the stories. The stories are the basis of it all product story and business story and people love the idea of potential and something that can make a difference for them and they love doing it with like-minded people especially if there's a mission at hand and we certainly have a mission with this at this point so again thanks to carol and jocelyn and all the speakers tonight and josh and everyone else so good night everyone and hopefully that's been of some help i'll go over it 150 more times if we need to i think when i first saw this uh, i think it was a 
I had to hear it about 400 times before it really sunk in. But the beauty of our business is that they pay you whether you understand it or not. And so if you go back down to the basics of just share the product story, share the business story, invite people to team up with you as partners. And then, as I said, as you earn the position, you learn the position and you turn around and teach the position. That's all. <laughs> okay. So good night, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. And uh, we'll hear you on Monday night, hopefully. Bye. <laughs> it was a great help. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Thanks, Sarah. Great job. Thanks. Good Thank night. You. Good, good night. night.